Uh, today, I'm here to answer one of your top poll questions. Last week, I did a poll. Top two uh, challenges that showed up for you here in the uh, Social Creatives Hub were, let me just read them out to you so you are very clear on what it is you asked for and that, that I'm not trying to. Num top of the list was content creation and promotion. And number two was how to do profitable live streams. Now, these two top um, these two top challenges are definitely can be answered in today's live right now, this moment. Now, today we are popping into Facebook Live 101. I am going to walk you through what I believe are the essential steps to building a Facebook presence that attracts eyeballs. Um, irrespective of the algorithm, I want you to understand that doing a Facebook Live is an act of courage and boldness. Not many people are that bold or courageous. And also it's an act of faith that whoever is out there looking for what you are offering will definitely show up and consume the information that you have created for them. So that's why I am saying right here, right now, that it is an act of faith to do a Facebook Live. And it's also an act of generosity because not many people are actually generous with their information through a Facebook Live masterclass. Why Facebook Live? Now, it is this is answering the both questions that are your biggest challenge, creating content uh, and promoting it, and also doing Facebook Lives that are profitable. Why Facebook Live? Why not, is my question. Why not? Statistics from LocalWise show that video posts, especially live videos, have the biggest, biggest reach and engagement online, especially on Facebook, period. Now, this is not just Facebook. Obviously, on YouTube, the only thing that has the biggest reach is video. Um, on uh, LinkedIn, it has been proven that if you consistently show up and, and post a video on LinkedIn, you chance of your, your audience increases more and more with time. People start to look at your videos with time. But with LinkedIn, um, I, uh, I, I truly believe that LinkedIn videos are still quite undervalued because people don't, don't want you to post videos that are longer than maybe three, four minutes tops. Um, unless you're doing LinkedIn Live. And in order to get LinkedIn Live, you have to apply to LinkedIn and then wait for LinkedIn to pull their finger out and get back to you. Uh, you have to prove that you are already doing live streams. And so it's, it's, it's kind of like a two-edged a, a two sword that if you've not been doing live streams anywhere else, LinkedIn won't give you an opportunity to do a live on LinkedIn. So why Facebook Live? Did you know that video is 800% more effective than text? Literally. Okay, let me let me just let me just uh, put a proviso on that. A couple of years ago, even a year ago, doing a Facebook Live was 800 more effective than text, 800 percent. Today, you have to have an active audience that really loves your content for Facebook to send you some serious traffic your way through video. So you need to start building that community now, and you need to also start sharing value via video so people can look forward to watching your videos and Facebook can share your videos further and wider. And social media and social video generates over 1,200% more shares than text and images combined. And that is the truth. People are more likely to share a video than they are likely to share your text post or your, or your image post. Why? Because video is like we are talking to you live. They can see you live and they love it. And so um, you, you will find that on WhatsApp, there are a ton load of what Facebook videos being reshared by a WhatsApp, being reshared by a messenger, being reshared, reshared even via text message to people so they can watch. Uh, I watched this video, it was really fun or it was really informative and I recommend it. People recommend videos more than obviously text posts and all that. Your mind sometimes, um, you mind, you mind about what people think about you. And here's what I used to think before, before when I started video. I was hesitant. I was worried about looking um, stupid. I thought that people would look at the mistakes I made. I thought that if people didn't notice that I had hundreds of viewers, then people wouldn't tune in. Uh, who wants to listen to me, etc., etc. That's your brain. That's your ego tricking you into not doing what it doesn't want to do because it is a risky thing, it is a new thing, and it doesn't know what, where that is taking you. And so your, your brain tricks you into thinking that's not something you should do. It is, of course, it, it is a major problem for some people. They genuinely have serious CDGs just cracking out their phone and doing a live video. What I recommend you do in that case is do a live audio 
when you click when you click on your live video before you go live there's a, there are three dots at the bottom of your live video uh live phone screen if you click on those three dots you're able to turn that into an audio and so you don't have to show your face you can just talk and if you're worried about your voice dude sometimes i sound like a chipmunk and chipmunk and 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 i laugh at myself sometimes and and when I increase the speed of the, of the video to cut down the time with my video editing tool, it becomes even more, more chimp monk voice than ever before. But guess what? As long as somebody's getting helped, as long as somebody's getting the answers they need, I don't mind my voice sounding like a chimp monk. I mind that somebody's life is being changed by the information I'm sharing. So Gary Vaynerchuk says it's called the documentation. You can see where you started and how much of an expert you are becoming before your very own eyes by going through your various videos and seeing where you come from. And the beauty with Facebook is it gives you a snippet of what you looked like a year before. What what did you do a year before? And you can literally see how far you have gone. What I'm seeing recently when I look at my uh, old content through Facebook notifications on the home feed is actually used to get a whole ton more views on my videos and but the algorithm has changed and i won't blame it on the algorithm i genuinely know more about big facebook than most people it's it's really because i am not pulling my finger out and doing what facebook wants me to do in order to increase my facebook views my video views but then again i'm getting more traffic elsewhere and i don't find it profitable use of my time to do what it is i need to do to get more views but i'm going to share with you what it is you need to do to get more views right so why I like video the fastest way to build your brand and position and establish you as an authority and expert in your niche and business it's also the fastest way to attract your prospects and leads daily super fast because they connect with you as a human they connect with your voice they connect with your energy they connect with your excitement they connect with you because you are that person serving them you become a resource rather than a person literally and video creates a tv personality effect aka celebrity status so people want to connect with you and hang out with you Yesterday, I was interviewed. I was one of the panelists on a, on a live presentation on cyberbullying and uh, mental health of young people. And that's predominantly because I show up on video, I'm confident with video, and I also I am a social media person. And so this person invited me uh, to, to, to be one of the panelists as a parent. So they didn't even invite me in my area of expertise as I think I am they actually invited me as a parent predominantly because they know i am confident with video and i'm also a parent that could speak about the topic that they wanted me to speak about so you kind of create a tv personality effect these people start to look forward to your show you are the leader you're the rock star you are ready for the light camera action and so i'm going to show you exactly how to get this party going with your live video and get your people coming to you where do you go live personal profile, Facebook page, or Facebook group. And I say all, all those places, not just personal profile, what's as Facebook page or group, you, you, can, you should go live on your personal profile because that's where you have the biggest number of people that are actually tuned in to you. You should go live in your group. If you created a group and you are part of the admin or you are part of a group where you're allowed to go live, then you can share your value in that group and help people go live there. And if you have a page on Facebook, Although face, the Facebook page is predominantly commercial view, as in it's your commercial relationship on Facebook, there is nothing wrong with doing a live video on Facebook via your page to keep your page alive and to increase your page reach and increase your lookalike audience if you ever get to run Facebook ads. And if you've run Facebook ads before, you'll understand what a lookalike audience looks like. And that is usually predominantly based on your Facebook page followers and their, <coughs> their activities, demographics, than, and, 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 and their targets in life. So both, I go live on my personal profile two times a week. Why? Because like I've said, it's, the, it's got the biggest number of people that I can reach on Facebook as my real estate. And so I use it. Facebook wants you to use all the real estate it gives you. It wants you to even do video inside of your Facebook stories. It wants you to do videos on your page, on your groups, in the groups that you're active in. It wants you to do lives, obviously, on your profile. Otherwise, it wouldn't give you that functionality. And it absolutely wants you to do videos on your page because it wants you to boost those videos. So it's a very simple reason. Facebook page once a week to increase my lookalike audience, to increase my page reach, and to boost that reach and increase in my fan base. End of story. Now, by the way, 
the best tool to go live and do presentations, demo videos like this is StreamYard. You can open your account for free at kalujigroup.com forward slash stream. I am literally sharing with you this resource because I believe you truly, truly need it to use StreamYard to stream your videos across. Open your free account on StreamYard so you can do presentations like I'm doing right now. You can do demonstration videos where you have created a demo on its own screen and you can literally run a video inside a video um commercial breaks you can have a commercial break inside of your video when you build your audience and it becomes a mega audience you can literally have people pay you to run adverts inside of your live stream and you will tell them to send you a, a live video feed of that advert and you play it in the middle of your live stream and you literally tell your audience you're having a, a, a two one minute two minute commercial break do something else pour yourself a cup have a drink clear your throat jump around and come back and do your live and you will have got paid for the, for the pleasure of promoting other people right so when i first started on facebook live and today i'm gonna show you the difference between then and now actually what i'm showing you this 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 training i did a couple of years ago so even what you're saying has changed dramatically these are the lives i used to do back in 2015. you see that you see what i'm saying in 2015 um, I did, I was doing videos, 233 views, 85 views, 301 views, 43 views, 40. I think this was, <laughs> I think this was my very first video on Facebook. I had 14 views, right? So what's your excuse? If I could literally evolve from 14 views to 433 views in one year by consistently showing up, you can do too. And I know that a lot of you are attached to that metric. Oh my goodness, how many people are watching me live? I too sometimes I look and say, dude, like what's going on here? But you know what? I still tell myself the important thing is I've put the message out there and somebody's going to receive this message. So I don't really focus on the number of people watching me live. I focus on the value I'm putting out and the people I know will replay that video. And like I've said here, it was yo yo wing all over the place a year later, 2016. And you can see that um later. It then went to over 2,000 views. That's over 2,000 views over there. That's over 2,000 views. And, and, and the increase carried on thousands of viewers. So the important thing is you need to understand that your viewers will yo-yo. They'll increase and decrease. You need to be at peace with that. Otherwise, you'll be attached to the wrong metric and you'll get attached to the wrong statistics and all your good value that people are waiting for are praying for are tithing for will go to waste because you will decide not to do live videos one of the things that i find very intriguing and interesting is inside of my master class a lot of people get excited about starting to do facebook lives and then they kind of you know bully themselves into not doing them by thinking who's watching me oh my goodness i don't want people to notice that i'm not getting that many views but if you've got 14 people watching you let me tell you when i first did that live 14 people watched me two of them bought what i was selling two people bought out of 14 that's a huge percentage out of 14 that was 20 percent conversion right 20 percent conversion on your very first live video you imagine that so imagine as you grow and grow people reach out to you people come to your inbox a lot of people don't do business on your newsfeed they'll do business in your messenger in your in your dm in your private uh message inbox and that's where people will reach out to you to ask about what you are selling on your videos so please show up and do videos you're gonna love it you're gonna find that you are not chasing people they are chasing you instead of prospecting people are reaching out to you and that's the beauty of doing live video so do you promote your products in your facebook lives or do you promote your service or do you just talk about all kinds of things and i'll tell you you can promote your products and services all the time, just not the way you think. It's like you you can have everything you want in life, but not all the but not at the same time. I'll say that again. You can have everything you want in life, but not all at the same time. In the same way, you can promote your products on Facebook Lives, but you don't do it all the time. Here's why: you need to give people value, right? You need to, to give people a reason to watch your videos. You need to give people a reason to want to tune into you. If all you're doing is sell, 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 you're not going to get people coming to you. So once a week, I go all out promoting my products and businesses. Once a week, usually on Wednesday, I go all out promoting my products and businesses. I go all out sharing um, a, a proper product that I'm selling. It's not a freebie and all that. On Monday, I give away free stuff. On Friday, I do free, free Q&A. On Wednesday, I literally do a sales video. 
And guess what? I get the most views as well on Wednesdays. So here's how I do it five days a week, right? I do a daily live inside my private mastermind every day, six days a week. So every day I do a live video somewhere. On Monday, I do an, an inspo mindset uplifting, build the no like trust factor, and I recommend a resource like I did earlier today. Uh, on Wednesdays, uh, Marketing Wednesday, I show my expertise as the go-to person in my area of specialty. I talk about social media marketing. I focus sometimes on Pinterest or LinkedIn, but I give value in an area that I know people will want to reach out to me and talk about how can they work with me better. I do a Q&A on Fridays. I do my school lead generation options for the question askers. For every question, there is a resource that I point to. I literally can point to three, four, five different resources because there are people asking different questions. It's a major, 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 major way to promote various products in your toolkit. And the beauty is you will not usually know what they're going to ask you unless people ask you before and you tell them you're going to do it on the Facebook Live, which sometimes I do. In fact, most, most times I do. And then I tell people exactly what I've already prepared. But if they ask you off the cuff, I can literally point them to a different resource that wasn't even on my list of resources I was going to offer and give away on that live. The important thing is you should have, you could create a resource that you're going to give away. Many times I give away my books. So I encourage you to do a Facebook live. Disclaimer, it has taken me six plus years. You've seen the timeline. 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2026 plus years. And I'm still tweaking and learning Facebook Live. Now understand that before Facebook Lives, I was doing periscopes, I was doing YouTube videos. So videos were not something I was alien to, but doing a live video where people are watching you live, like on TV, definitely that was something I wasn't used to because in my YouTube videos and periscopes, I'd prepare myself, I'd get my hair done, I'd get my nails done, I'd pull out my best outfit and then I'd show up live. With Facebook Lives, it meant that I, when I started, I was doing a live every day. And that meant that I had to have my face my, my face on every day. I had to have my best foot forward every day. And it, it kind of got, it, it got exhausting having to put on the makeup every day. Now, I'm not a celebrity with makeup artists and all kinds of people to help me with all these things. So I would have to do them myself. It got a bit exhausting. And I decided to be the natural mother who shows up on your video with just a lick of lipstick. And that's it, because it encourages people to not have to worry about having to put on a whole face of makeup, get their hair done in a special way, or pull out your own. Remember, if you wear your wig every day, it's going to get rotten, right? And this is your special wig. Now, if you have to wear it every day or your weave for lives, it's going to get to a point whereby you don't have anything you wear on your special days because you've been wearing Facebook Live videos. What I'm saying is show up smart, show up simple, show up as you. If you want to put on a full face of makeup, go ahead, but understand that you don't have to. After all, men show up with nothing other than a t-shirt or a shirt on and they still get to impact lives. One of my best coaches shows up in a t-shirt every blessed day. We, I'm, I'm part of a mastermind where we are taught every day and this guy shows up in a t-shirt every day. And I'm like, dude, I should have been a man when I, when I was born because look at this. Like we women have to take so much time to look so gorgeous and presentable and men all they have to do is put on a t-shirt like am i saying something or am i saying something? like guys if this is if you think it's something that is resonating say something or hit an emoji because the reality is we women have to do so much more show up on our facebook lives and i'd like to get mothers uh, and and young people to not have to worry so much about your looks and just focus on the message you have and the and the product you're offering other products a blessing for them so that it's not your face people are connecting to. It is your energy. It is your love. It is your giving that they're connecting to. And therefore, you are not necessarily worrying about how you show up on the live. So get busy creating value content. Do your research on Google. Google is your best friend. Go and Google your topic on Google, right? Go and search on Google. If you're, if you're selling a health and wellness product, there is a mountain of videos on YouTube, of Google blogs, on, on Yahoo, on Bing, on Yandex, any search engine you use, Safari, and search health and wellness products, even search vitamins, search supplements, search weight loss products, search skincare products, search, you name it, you're going to find information on Google. Now, here is the trick. Find the information that best suits your needs. Read it. Take notes. And then add your personal experience, add your personal results, add your personal journey, make it personal to you. And when you reproduce it on Facebook in a live video, 
you are not plagiarizing you are not stealing someone's content you're sharing your journey there is nothing new under the sky right so don't have this imposter syndrome and stop yourself from sharing value because you think people will think you copied somebody else because we all learn from somebody else right from when we are taught we learn from somebody else and then we regurgitate and we, we reproduce what we are learning from other people and so now is your chance to showcase what you know because there is a product you're selling that actually people are people are going to enjoy if you find the right content to share and build that legacy okay now here's the second place to find information because now i'm com combining the two the two questions the second place to find information are your notes from uh, conferences from trainings that you participated in from in products that you purchased uh, as training products from you know web webinars you've you've been attend you've attended and you've taken notes personalize them turn it into something personal to you when you use when you go and buy a, a cream when you go and buy a cream in the supermarket i bet you if you if you went on the cream shelf in the supermarket and looked at three four five different creams you will notice that the contents are actually the same apart from maybe the, the one content that differentiates the two or maybe two uh, contents so all these things are the same you know the only thing is you just have to differentiate you from everybody else by your personal experience your story your testimony that's what makes you different and special so here are some guidelines for you you must introduce yourself who are you why should people listen to you or your topic every time i do a live i introduce myself hey guys this is julie seal kalunji of kalunjiku.com and uh, today i'm gonna share with you xyz i have been known to help people marketers entrepreneurs and uh, business owners to move from oh boy to i know exactly what i'm doing and i'm excited about my business on the social media playing with content that works and gets you seen found and heard without the bs and so i help you uh reach your target audience in the digital space by helping you create value content that your target audience loves and they get to speak with you and you get to have an opportunity to be blessed with them and i do the diy the consultation and we are definitely in the business of helping you take it all off your shoulders and do it for you so that's me introducing myself on my lines and i do it one or another so that people get to know who i am who are you that's your that's your selling point that's your unique that's your uniqueness. Tell people how you help them, who you are, and how you help people. Who you are is very simple. Your name. Why should they listen to you? Tell them what is that thing you know so well. What's that thing you can help them with? And you have a solution. Uh, what's that? What's that problem that they have that you can help them with? That makes you. You may not be different from someone else, but then when you start sharing your own personal experience and your journey, you are definitely unique from the other person they listen to. Okay, so set an intent and manage people's expectations. Let people know why you are alive. What are you there for? Because when you don't tell them, people pop in and pop off. There are so many live streams people can watch right now. And when you do a live and you don't have an introduction, and let me tell you, one of your things, introduction should be in your headline. Facebook gives you an opportunity to add a description to your video and to, to have a headline, a headline to your video. I don't know why so many, especially Ugandan bloggers, they don't have, they don't add titles to their videos. They just go live and assume the world knows what they're talking about. And you see so many people in the comments saying, what are we talking about today? What's the topic for the day today? Why are we here today? And then I always ask myself, why are you even bothering to watch the person if you don't know what they're talking about? If they don't tell you what it's about they're talking about, don't even waste a moment of your life clicking on their life because your life is worthy of more people who treat you with more respect and tell you exactly what it is they're talking about in their description and in the title of the video and even give you a bit of an intro of what it is they're going to talk about and so you know that you are your time will be well spent if you click on this live as opposed to just following people just for the sake of following them and then you waste your life and you waste your time and if you're a marketer time you could spend prospecting time you could spend connecting with new people and planting and sowing seeds in order to collect that harvest later so deliver value once you have introduced yourself you've set the intent you've introduced you've welcomed people who have clicked the live for instance there are people who are watching me live but i don't know who they are so i can't mention you because i don't know who you are. i can't see your names i don't know if you're even typing any questions because they're not showing up in the comments below but i know for sure that when you deliver value 
people will want to know more when you next go live inform people don't get all salesy or advertise all the time stay on the topic the topic that you have told people you're going to talk about i watch so many vloggers who go off topic completely start talking about all kinds of things and i respect people's time i respect that people have given me their life literally at that moment they've gifted me a moment of their life and sitting with me even even though in different universes and i'm very excited to deliver the value for them deliver the value so people will want to stay with you call to action now here's the trick you can give the call to action before I have to set the intent you then give a quick call to action some a very sly almost like a sly call to action here's what happens sometimes when you give your call to action that early in your video a lot time other people drop off don't mind the drop offs because that means they were never gonna be on your list they were, they were never gonna be really tuned in to you because the minute you started telling them what you can do for them they dropped off that means they were never gonna be your market so don't worry about that but at the end of your video after you have delivered value don't ever end a video without informing people what's the next step i didn't say ask questions there's a whole difference and you'll notice how i end this video in a way that shows you an idea how to end the video without asking do you have any questions because usually it's something i taught inside of my winning entrepreneur nation that when people end a video with uh, with any questions people are like no can we go now so then you miss an opportunity to show them what they can do next, where they need to go next to learn more, to connect deeper with you, to download, to subscribe, to join, to whatever, to be part of your next journey and therefore, therefore not drop off the cart, as you like to call it. It's always a recommendation to click on a video, to subscribe, to, to comment, to like the video, to share the video, to chat with you, to fill out your service, give away stuff. You name it, there are so many ways to, to do a call to action that people will take action after your video if they genuinely are looking for the solution you're offering. So always give a call to action, right? And I'm going to break it down how I do the all the above in a demonstration. Let's get into it understand that a video a day keeps your bank account happy here's how now you might be saying but julie you don't do a video a day in the public space but i've just told you i do a video a day every day for six days a week now i don't necessarily do all them live videos inside of the, my profile or my page or my group i do them in a private exclusive space where people have invested in their growth with me as their guide and so that is also a place that I do a video a day every day. I do three videos in the public space every blessed week unless I am down and out. Otherwise, you will see a video from me. And I do a video on YouTube every week, once a week. Now, do you see how many videos I do a week? I potentially do um, 11 to 12 videos a week every week. And I have no problem doing them. Why? Because videos are a major contributor to my business growth in terms of people connecting with me as a person. In fact, I do more than 14 videos a week. I do at least three videos on LinkedIn every week. I do at, at least I do several videos on Instagram. Um, I do videos for Pinterest and I do them very quickly. I just whip out my phone and speak for at least a minute or two. And that's a video done and some of you think you have to speak for 100 days no all you have to do is take two minutes and say something that you know makes you stand out as a as an expert or somebody that is a resource for other people and people will be happy to be connected to you because of the way you show up for them so set yourself a 30 day video challenge if you have never done videos or if you're doing videos and you're not, you're not doing them consistently challenge yourself to do a 30 day video challenge heck you can do it 90 days i recommend you definitely don't do below 21 days every single day a video and like i said you don't have to do the videos in one specific place but it would be important to do it in one specific place and see how they combat i have learned to do videos so now i do them on all kinds of different platforms but if you're starting out as a challenge to you i suggest you do your video and they may be on your profile every day or in a group that you know you're active and they're active people who will watch you every day. Or you can do a video and upload it to YouTube every day. Or you can do a small short one, two minute video for your LinkedIn every day. Either way, challenge yourself to do a video and don't allow yourself the, 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 the luxury of saying, oh, people are not watching my video, so I want to People are watching, people are always watching, okay? So here's what, here is what I do and I recommend you do the same. Success is 90% preparation, so be prepared. Cue not, topic, research, don't wing it. Don't wing it. I have what they call post-it notes. I write my bullet points on a post-it note and I put it right next to my camera point. 
And when you are on a phone, put that post-it note across your phone screen so that you're not looking at yourself. And you focus on the dot that is your phone camera. That means you're looking straight at your audience. And every so often you can look at your notes, which are not, your notes which are on your screen on a post-it. And you are literally giving value, but you are not winging it. Okay, don't wing it. Start talking as soon as you are live. Don't worry about the audience. Most of your, most of your views will come, will come on a replay. Now is the time to share your page, your profile, your couple to your groups. Invite your friends. Encourage and incentivize your viewers to share too so you get more views while live. Encourage people to start watch parties. And give away something and tell that if you share my video, I'm going to give you X, Y, Z. And people will then be more incentivized to share your video. When you're starting out, you really should do these things. You should do these things as you continue doing these things so that more and more people are incentivized and are inspired to watch your videos because they also get something. What's in it for them? People only care what's in it for them. Never, ever forget that statement. People only care what's in it for them. So introduce yourself, your topic, your subject via a question because a question piques curiosity. Does anybody, who else wants to know how I do videos that are profitable for my business? Who else wants to know how to do a live video that will bring in for you 10 leads per day continuously for the next uh, for the next 90 or so days? Who else wants to know how you can get clear baby skin without spending a fortune in facial creams and whatever? Who else wants to know how to grow your hair if you've gone semi bald or you have alopecia? Who else wants to you know what your what your product does and what it solves? Who else wants to know challenge and solution? Ask the question. Or um, this is how I do X, Y, Z. Have you ever done this before? There are several ways. I'm going to give you a few uh, ways to introduce yourself and your topic and pick curiosity, right? Deliver the value based on the topic and your notes. Educate, entertain, inspire, empower. Tell your story. Tell a story. Share a testimony. Stories sell. Facts tell. I won't go into define to that because that is a fact that you should know by now. 10x your energy. Be you times two and bring the excitement that's why you see me always smiling i come with the energy on fridays i even bring the music get the people into your energetic state and space and get them excited to listen to you always give a call to action the best the best one is midway the show and at the end of the show point to a resource recommend a course of action invite people to your inbox it is a more do you know why people invite people to their inbox it, it protects you from people who think Oh, not many people actually commented on their thing. When you write about your inbox, you're also protecting your energy. And so you're the only one who will know how many people came to your inbox. Nobody else will know because you've told people, if you want to know more, let's have a conversation in my inbox. So you learn, you're the only one who will know whether only five people showed up or 30 people showed up. You're the only one who will know. And so you protect your energy and you also protect yourself from uh, that feeling of, oh, goodness me. You know, she said that people should comment and nobody commented. Do you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people say, tell people to drop a comment in the comments below if they want this. I don't usually say that because, A, protect your energetic space. Close the show with an outro. Again, call to action, invite questions, invite people to follow, encourage them to share, comment, like, subscribe. Tell them what's, the, what's next in your uh, repertoire. When will the next show be? The day, the time, and the topic so they can start looking forward to. It's like a pre-show, pre-next show advert for you. It's your live stream, so advertise your next live stream. And above all, reiterate your call to action. If you want to learn more about this subject, if you want to learn more how you can get your nails better and you, you they don't crack, Please download the resource. I've added the link in the in, in the description above or in the comments below. It is, it, it, and I've also added three hats so you will recognize it. Please go and download it. So give people a clear where they can find the next step so that you don't have a full uh, training where you're given so much value and then people just walk away because you didn't really tell them where to go next. We like to be told what to do next and we like to be told where it is ASAP so we don't have to look for it all over the interwebs. So. Thank your audience over and over. Name a few who are live. Like if I could see you live, I would name you. And and basically end your video. When you name people, I I guarantee you they'll show up for the next video because people it's like you're on TV. You're they're like they are celebrity. They are watching you and you're mentioning them. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. So, what do you talk about? 
what to say and share anything you're passionate about, you're knowledgeable about, you're excited about, you're bummed out about, you're challenged by, within your story, within your experiences, within your lessons learned, benefits thereof, how it relates to your product or service or lesson for the day. Remember to educate, entertain, inspire, and empower. Now, here's the deal. When I share a lesson learned or I share a story, I also like to share that story in a way that relates to the people that are watching. If I know them in some way, if I have a nurse watching me, I'll try and weave in a nurse related story or example or challenge or things like that. So try to connect your audience to the information you're sharing with them. And they will start to really relate to you. They'll start to love you even more. Oh my goodness, I love this woman. Oh my goodness, this woman inspires me. Oh my goodness, X, Y, Z. And they'll tell other people about you in a way that's actually complimentary. Your content, and now we are tar targeting the other question that you asked in the poll as well. What do you, what, how should you, should you create content? Your, sh your content should focus on the right stuff and what you know or have learned, experienced, uh, or are learning. Some of you wait until you have got a PhD. If you are experienced in any way and you know just 1% more than the next person, they will look up to you for valuable lessons if you step up and show up and share those lessons with them. If you have bought a course or if you've learned something right here, you go and share with other people what you've learned here and you point to where you learned it from. That's very good as well. If you say, oh my goodness, the other day I learned this tip from Julie Silkalunji. By the way, guys, you should follow Julie Silkalunji. Anyway, this is the tip I learned from Julie. And I have applied it and it has worked for me. So I encourage you to do it too. And now you have become a link, a link to somebody else. You have also, you're sharing something that you have learned and it has worked for you. And you have given attribution. Very, very important. It's good for your uh, spirit and it's good for your goal. Focus on your audience. Focus on them. Whatever you're sharing, it is about them. It's not about you. Focus on serving instead of selling to them. We are all selling something, but when you serve people first, they are open to whatever you're selling to them later. When they have the money, or if they have the money now, or they have the resources, or you're asking them to just subscribe, they won't be, they won't be mean with their click because you have been generous with your knowledge, experience, information. Share value that without an attachment to an agenda. Ideas on ger generic topics to focus on. You can demonstrate, you can do quick PowerPoint presentations like I've done today and basically serve people in a way that helps you show up as a professional. Like I said, Google is your best source. There's millions and millions of content on Google. Don't just stop on page one because it's very easy to notice what has been reshared from page one of Google. But if you go to page three or four, there's tons loads of packed full of information, blogs, videos, and, and PDFs that nobody ever gets to see because people hardly ever go past page one. Go into those, study what they say, how they say it, create your own resource because you are on a journey, your own journey, but now you have a roadmap on how you can show up that can help other people. And then you create your own resource, you create your own downloadable, you do your video, and here's something. When you do your video, remember you've now just created a resource that's going to outlive you as long as Facebook lives anyway. Download your video. Don't just ever leave your video on, on Facebook. What to post? There are some video ideas. I told you I was going to share with you some ideas, right? Write reviews of products or, phys or physical products you purchase. And when you are doing your video, say, I'm going to sh share with you three tips on how to have amazing skin. I'm giving skin as an example, right? And then your third tip should be... Uh, and tip three is my best, and I want you to watch and, and understand why it is my best. And then when you get to tip three, you say, the reason I love this tip is because I've used this product, I've used this service, I've used this, uh, I'm, I'm part of this community, I have done this. And you then share your story, you share your experience, you share your journey, and then you invite people in a call to action at that very point because that is when your hottest and you're talking about you and your whole essence and energy pours through on that tip. Review products, you refer, review courses, you are purchased. I, I see a lot of people who purchase a course and never talk about it. And you have to review this thing because that's how other people get to know about this. Review software, books you've read, magazine articles, videos that you've watched. Review websites in your niche. Create a video about things learned from a book. Create a video about things learned from a magazine. Uh, 
create more general how to videos do a video mindset principles that that you live by do a video on your morning routine share what, where to buy things in your niche create a beginner's training to do something remember when you share about where to buy things in your niche one of those should be your product your website your service your community go off and rant about something that rubs you the wrong way all these things people love to see and i've just given you a whole month's worth of video uh, areas to look at and create content around so for those of you that asked about content i've just answered your, your question as well and so don't mind about the numbers the numbers will come when you get stop getting attached to the outcome and start serving people instead because it's not about you it's about them the challenge here is what i want you to do for you this is what i encourage you that you can do today start challenge yourself to do a video every day it may not be on facebook live if you're not if you're not comfortable doing lives with uh, with very few views showing our viewers now I, I find that facebook should actually remove that because it's actually hindering a lot of people from doing lives when you watch telly the, the the tv channels are not showing you how many people are watching this channel at this point in time because it, it would literally they could go bankrupt they, they are literally telling their competitors how many people are watching and therefore how to beat them i would personally if i was inside of the facebook ecosystem i would definitely recommend that they remove the the number of people watching live and maybe add it to the end of the video that this is the number of people that watch this video live and um, as the days go, go by they show the number of people that watch the replay that would probably be a lot more useful for videographers and people who are shy about doing videos so this is your template for doing a live video challenge for 30 days a week shoot a three to ten minute video daily you can do it live you can upload it if you're too shy to do it live you can record the video and upload it to your page or profile or group okay uh, give yourself reward points for every action that you complete every day right you can do a live if you do a video that's uploaded give yourself three points if you do a live broadcast give yourself five points right you are you are your own manager you're managing your time you're managing your brand you're managing your growth and when you show up in a certain way you reward yourself and you're going to be doing more of that because your brain will go yeah we love this we get rewarded when we do this stuff personal development if you do five affirmations a day i don't know if you affirm i affirm every day i am beautiful i am amazing i am abundant i am abundance money flows to me endlessly life is permanently rigged in my favor i'm so happy and i'm so grateful that i have amazing clients who are driven who are excited who are hungry who are willing and able to invest in themselves with my product and they grow and they smash it and they give me testimonies galore i'm so happy and excited to be able to serve people in video and that every video i put out reaches so many people and the right people connect with me and buy my products i'm sorry so a farm a farm a farm to create your own affirmations uh gratitude and action journal if you do journaling one give yourself a point a day 20 minutes of reading audio give yourself a point a day this is a challenge to you to grow as a person so that you're able to give more to other people share someone else's video in your niche that inspires you give your point yourself a point for being a goal giver maximum points you can accumulate per day is nine points uh, do this challenge with a friend or two or three or ten and basically uh, challenge yourselves to get the highest points and then do yourself a, a quick a gift like you can do a virtual latte or actually meet up and actually have a meal out if you're in the same area and and help yourselves to grow right that's how you can actually do this for personal growth four points five points for video marketing so for those of you that have teams, you can do this challenge in your team. I've just given you the criteria. I've just given you the points to give out. And then you give a, 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 a prize to the person who shows up the most on video and who, shows, who delivers the most leads in your team because that is the only way to actually build a business, to have people inquiring about your business or walking into your business and checking out what you offer and buying what you're offering. Without that, you have no business. So let's look at it. 15 effective headlines for your posts and for your videos and like i told you i'll share this with you they're right in front of you you can take a screenshot and then you can you can go and type them into a word document or an excel document reading them out would take too much time but they are right in front of you who else wants to xyz how to x without b the secret to x how to find the best x what everyone needs to know about x seven ways to boost x without z how to solve a x problem today how to handle y like a professional how what to do when blah 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 how to finally blah 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 for real so these are your headlines 
for your posts that these are headlines that sell. I've given you 15 of the most effective headlines in sales and marketing today. Today. I don't know about tomorrow, but today. Those are the most effective, most, uh, they sell the most. People click on these when they find uh, videos with headlines like that, when they find posts like that, people click on them. So this is exactly what you can do with your videos and you will start to attract a whole lot more people. You can see how if you did a video a day every day, you have a, a headline for, for 15 days. By day 16, you can start, you can restart from number one, but obviously you, you change the Z to something else because you don't want to talk about the same thing all the time. And so you have a whole 30 days worth of titles for your videos. Instead of saying seven ways, you can say five ways. You can say three tips to, you can say three steps to, you can do uh, five ways to, uh, you can do one must have resource or two for XYZ or two must have tools or apps, uh, uh, you know, things like that. If I started all over again, I would do this and share your story or a testimony from somebody else in your team and things like that. So be creative. You are the leader. And uh, this is, you can actually take a screenshot of that. This can be your accountability tracker as you're tracking your points. You see the points I'm talking about here, uh, those points here. You, you track these points in a resource like this. You can create it in PowerPoint. Uh, sorry, you can create it in uh, Excel. And you give yourself daily points and you, and you add up the total weekly points. And uh, you, you can give yourself, actually, this is 30 days worth of, of accountability for you. And you can create that for your team. And you run a 30 day video challenge and you build your team. The more people know about you and what you do and uh, you as a person and someone that they can relate to as an authority, the more people will actually buy from you. Because some of you think that the only way to make money is to drop links on social. It doesn't work. That doesn't work. I promise you, I've tried it. It doesn't work. I tried it in way back in 2013 and it didn't work and it doesn't work today. Definitely when people are even more savvy, when people are more social savvy, they're more digital savvy, it doesn't work. So you have to be more creative. You have to give more for people to actually deliver more to you unless you have a ton of money to run ads, Facebook ads, Google ads, or whatever ads. If you don't, then this is your best bet, I promise you. So this is your accountability tracker. Take a screenshot or create one and create one in Excel or you can create it in Word and you can track your days and you can continue to track your actions every day. You can use that as your action daily action step and see how that goes for your business. What I just shared with you as your challenge. If you use that as a daily DMO, you will see a difference in your business. Now, what next? We deep dive on how you use video to grow your business inside my daily workshop. So check it out at kalojigroup.com forward slash workshop. Check it out and commit to make the next 90 days the best 90 days for you yet because you have 90 days to change your life and your business in this year. And uh, I, am, I guarantee you, when I say 90 days, I mean exactly that because no one's going to do anything on Christmas Day or New Year's Day or New Year's Eve. So I've taken those days out and left you the rest of the 90 days to do something with your business and impact more people. I've given you, I've answered both your questions in this one training from the poll that I did the other day. So go to kalenjigroup.com forward slash dream or kalenjigroup.com forward slash workshop and learn how you can literally change your business this side of this new, this new decade. Okay, that's it, guys. I hope I've given you some value. And if I have said something in the comments, my thought is super dry. I feel like I've been speaking at 100 miles an hour, but I didn't want to make this too long. Uh, if you really, really wish to, wrap your head around facebook video i've given you the essentials you've literally been kitted out with the essentials that people charge hundreds or even thousands of dollars to teach people i've just i've just shared it with you today and uh and and for free as well and so i hope that you go ahead and check out the workshop or you check out from the file see i have literally spoken to us check out kalonjigroup.com for slash dream and go be a go giver enjoy the rest of your week and if you have any questions drop them below this video and tag me and definitely i wish you every success